San Antonio researchers are looking for volunteers with Alzheimer's to help test an experimental drug. It's a medication targeting the cause, not just the symptoms. Wendy Rigby has the story. New at 5. Wendy? Alzheimer's is a puzzling, brain-ravaging disease affecting 5.5 million Americans, including more than 400,000 Texans. Scientists don't know why it happens, but a buildup of abnormal proteins in the brain called plaques create many of the devastating memory and cognitive symptoms. We don't really even have to cure Alzheimer's. If we merely delayed the onset of the disease by as little as five years, it would greatly reduce the number of Alzheimer's victims in the future. San Antonio's UT Health Science Center is helping test the newest generation of Alzheimer's medication, an experimental therapy called solanazumab, delivered once a month through an IV. It's designed to attack what's called amyloid plaques in the brain, the first intervention designed to potentially slow the disease itself. We can actually image the amyloid in the brain, and to the extent that the drug is effective, we may be able to detect that the levels of amyloid in the brain are actually reducing. Volunteers will undergo positron emission tomography testing, PET scans, to see if the therapy is working. Before this development, only an autopsy could prove Alzheimer's as a diagnosis. I'd like you to draw me a clock. Study volunteers will be given periodic cognitive testing to see if the medication is halting their mental decline. Researchers here are hopeful a new intervention can slow down a killer. The UT Health Science Center is looking for generally healthy people over the age of 55 who have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease to volunteer for this study. For more information, you can log on to our website, kens5.com, and click on Health under the News tab. Reporting live, Wendy Rigby, KENS 5 Eyewitness News.